Why is the stock market rallying when the economy is so bad? The latest jobs report revealing record U.S. unemployment highlights a growing rift investors are struggling to reconcile a rallying stock market and a stumbling economy. Gains in U.S. stocks accelerated Friday after April's non-farm payrolls report showed unemployment rose to 14.7%, the highest level on record. It was the latest head-scratching development for many market observers who have been parsing a steady stream of abysmal economic data while watching the U.S. stock market stage a recovery. This is why it is called a pandemic. It was planned this way. We are in a forced unemployment crisis for the purpose of an economic takeover, manipulation, consolidation. I shouldn't say takeover. It's the people already in charge consolidating economic power. The stock market is not an accurate reflection of the health of the economy it is now i would hope more painfully and i mean painfully obvious than ever to the average american that the stock market is the casino where the house always wins the house are the people who control the financial markets the string pullers the bankers the military industrial complex war profiteers the corporate oligarchs who really control the system the stock market is measuring the value of specific corporations and investors have decided, the people who want to get in on this racket, that their value is safe because corporations will continue, at least the major government sponsored corporations will continue to be safe, profitable investments despite the coronaphobia crisis. Surprise, surprise. From ZDNet.com, majority of remote workers are more productive and communicative. Now, silver lining in this, just being led to this stay-at-home status, to have this, this extra fear incentive to explore different possibilities of remote work. This is a beautiful silver lining. I am all for this. More things going virtual, a lot. Well, what about all the in-person? Yes, well, when it's more productive, more effective, more efficient, what it means is that we are more capable of providing for the leisure time to do the things in real life or virtually that are more meaningful to us, that we create more goods and services to, to provide for human needs more efficiently. Yeah, if you want to work in person and you get more value out of that from that experience, whatever, you have that right to do that. But the fact that the economy as a whole gets more efficient in a lot of ways with remote working when in-person working turns out now to be revealed as less effective or less efficient. Yeah, this is a positive development. All companies, even those with no remote work culture, have had to mandate and effectively manage their employees working from home. Research shows how the workforce is experiencing the shift and what employees need to stay productive and engaged. The future of work after the COVID-19 pandemic will not be the same. 2020 remote work research revealed that working from home as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic has had only a 1% reduction on work productivity. And more than 40% of workers would prefer to work remotely full time in the future. That is a huge shift. Do not underestimate this. This is the big, undeniable, positive economic development as a result of the coronaphobia crisis. The other thing that's nice about this is it means these things cannot be shut down in the future, right? It's less of the economy that we have to sterilize or bubble wrap in order for government not to shut these things down. 61% of the workforce is working from home. 53% of whom started doing so since the onset of COVID-19. Wow. So just to put this in perspective, about 60% of people working today are working from home. Half of those 30% started doing so 
since COVID-19, which means before this, it was about 30% working from home, 70% on site. Now it's 60% at home, 40% on site. That is a one third of the workforce going through this shift. 44% using more video conferencing, 27% of remote workers have been provided with better technology by their employers. Um, I, the, the, the more detailed statistic here, uh, yeah, CJ, you've got that graphic up. Conducted more video calls than usual. For, I mean, these are all kind of silly. Attended a virtual event, 37%. Later than usual, 35%. Um, so use technology. The last one here, though, CJ, at the very bottom. Use technologies slash applications for the first time, 31%. That is a massive positive shift of people experiencing a new way to work.